Frank Buckles, the last surviving American veteran of World War I, died recently at his home in West Virginia. He was 110 years old. Not only did he serve in the First World War, but as a civilian, Mr. Buckles survived more than three years of brutal captivity by Japanese forces during World War II. We'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to a remarkable veteran and to all who served with him. U.S. involvement in World War I began in the spring of 1917 and was over by the autumn of 1918. But in that relatively brief period, a little over a year and a half, nearly five million Americans served their country in war. Army Corporal Frank Buckles outlasted every one of them. I was sworn into service on the 14th of August, 1917. Although he did not yet meet military age requirements, Buckles, young and hungry for action, was able to bluff his way into the Army shortly after his 16th birthday. More than 53,000 U.S. troops died in battle during the war, but Buckles returned home unharmed. He found work with an American shipping firm which took him to South America, then back to Europe, and then on to the Philippines. In 1941, Buckles was stationed in Manila when Japanese air attacks propelled the U.S. into the Second World War. Frank Buckles was captured and held for 39 months in Japanese prison camps, often under near starvation conditions. How much actually we were getting, I don't know. But the experts had calculated we were getting about 800 calories a day. On February 23, 1945, a combined force of U.S. Army airborne soldiers and Filipino guerrillas liberated the internment camp where Buckles was being held. He had survived again and would return home to live out his remaining years on a 300-acre cattle farm in West Virginia. But Frank Buckles had one last battle to fight. In his final years, he worked tirelessly to expand a little-known memorial to Washington, D.C. veterans of World War I. His hope was that it might someday be transformed into a national memorial. Whether that will happen or not is, as yet, undetermined. But Frank Buckles, true to the end, gave the effort all he had. Nearly five million Americans served in the U.S. military during World War I. More than 50,000 of them died from combat, with more than 60,000 perishing from non-combat related causes. Frank Buckles survived, speaking to new generations on behalf of all of them. But last month he was laid to rest with full military honors at Arlington National Cemetery. If you're interested in supporting Frank Buckles' efforts to create a national memorial to World War I veterans, you can go to www.wwi.org. Dot www.wwimemorial.org.